Chapter 11 Revival You Are Listening at NovelFull.Audio Chapter 11 Revival, What? You said Sakumo is seriously injured. In his office, the third Hokage was shocked by the news he heard. Since the end of World War II, Hataki Sakumo has made great achievements. The name of Kanoha's White Fong has frightened the enemy. Although the previous failure of the mission brought some loss to the village, Sarutobi did not criticize the him. However, some people are willing to deliberately spread rumors, infinitely enlarging a small thing, and Hokage heard about it all too late. This matter has always been a fact, in both worlds Ryo has lived in. The third had to wait after the incident for things to settle down before addressing the matter and telling people what it meant and what it didn't. However, he did not expect that the same people saved three days ago by Sakumo would turn on the later. So the whole thing went out of his expectations and control. Sarutobi was so worried about Sakumo's fate, and his anger was ignited by the matter. At this time, he wasn't the old man in the manga. He was at his prime, and a glorious ninja. How is he now? Hokage-sama his wife just brought him to the Kanoha hospital. We go there then. While furious and wanting to punish whoever was responsible, the main thing is Sakumo's survival. Hokage-sama. How Sakumo? He's. He passed away. What? Hiruzen couldn't speak, but his silence was broken by the yelling a little boy. Sakumo-san is not dead yet. I can save him. People are normally afraid to speak out loud in front of the Hokage, but Sakumo's life can't wait. Mints have passed since the ice seal was put by Ryo and he had only 15 minutes to save him. Impossible, Sakumo-san's heart is pierced and there are signs of vitality. His body has already gone cold. You can't save the dead. Hokage-sama, I can save Sakumo-san. It's you. Ryo. The Hokage remembered the little kid from the library well. Little kid, don't make a mess in such a situation, said the Hokage to Ryo. I really can. Ryo's eyes revealed firm confidence, and no fear of Hokage. Yamanaka Ryo, can I believe in you? The confidence in the Ryo's eyes impressed the Hokage. Hokage-sama, the people here say he's dead, thing can't get any much worse if I try. What do you say Riko-chan? Ryo's words touched the third Hokage, but common sense says that this is just a child with two months of medical experience. The Hokage needed another voice to support Ryo. Hokage-sama, I believe him. Riko did not hesitate. The medical ninjas here all said that her husband was dead, but Ryo said that he could be saved. He was her only hope. Good. You have been given this case then Ryo. Don't let me down, Sakumo-san is a hero who shouldn't go down this way. Yes, Hokage same. Please give me some food pills, I'll need more chakra than what I have left to save him. After receiving three food pills, Ryo and several nurses entered the operating room. The efficiency of Kanoha Hospital is still very high. By the time they finished preparing for the operation, there were 12 minutes of ice dot blocking left for Ryo to save Sakumo. Outside the operating room, the third comforted Riko. Now everything relies on Ryo. Ryo stepped on a stool, and a soldier's food pill restored most of his chakras. His past five years of surgical experience were there to give him the focus he needed in this situation. He cut Sakumo's chest with a chakra scalpel to reach his heart. Mystical palm, directly repairs the heart of Sakumo, and with nothing resisting the healing effect. After the repair of the heart was completed, he finished by healing the chest wound. Lightning release. Chidori. Ryo did not practice Chidori and couldn't use it, but he only needed a weakened version of it here. After printing the seal, some weak sparks appeared in his hand. Although Sakumo's heart has been repaired, it has not resumed beating. Ryo used electrical shocks to make it beat again. And after several tries, the heart started slowly beating again. When the ice was released, the physical functions of Sakumo's body gradually were recovered. 
In 12 minutes, Ryo successfully pulled Sakumo from the edge of death. Dot looking his patient stable, Ryo finally had some relief, and as he relaxed and got rid of the pressure of the situation, he fainted right there and then. The operating room door opened, and Riko jumped to the nurse. How is it? Hokage-sama, Riko-shan, Sakumo-san is all right. Ryo-san's medical skills were amazing. Hataki Riko collapsed and shed tears of joy, and the Hokage was finally relieved. Wait, what about Yamanaka Ryo? He saw Sakumo being taken from the operation room but there was no sign if Ryo. Today's performance has proved his worth. From the perspective of the third, he was not inferior to Tsunade. In World War II, because of the horrible deaths of her both her brother and her lover, Tsunade developed hemophobia. This saddened the Hokage as he felt sorry for her and also for Kanoha that lost its best medical ninja. Today's performance by Ryo has allowed the third that could see the rise of yet another, great. The young man consumed too much energy, so he fainted. Ryo's performance made the three nurses applaud him. Ah, that's good. The Hokage was completely relieved, as both Sakumo and Ryo were safe. In addition to that, he finally found one to cover the loss of Tsunade. Hokage-sama. What's wrong Riko-chan? There was an ambu soldier dead in my house and I think Sakumo killed him. Riko did not think for a second that the kid might have been the one to kill him. Root ninja were really strong. Now the fact that Ryo killed him was a fluke, but it was to be well hidden by the fact that he used a ninja scalpel, so no murder weapon, and that it isn't possible for a kid normally to kill an ambu. Ha! Huh. The Hokage knew too well that his ambu would never follow Sakumo, these guys must be of root. Riko, don't worry about this. Let me take care of it. Thank you, Hokage-sama. Now go and stay by your husband's side. Hokage-sama, excuse me. Really worried about her husband, she rushed straight to where Sakumo was. You are going to dispose of the corpse of that root ninja. The hand of the root has gone too far. Hi Sandame-sama. The Endo Ninja promised to be unseen. Danzo. You're letting your old friend down. Chapter 12. The Power of the White Fang You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 12. The Power of the White Fang Early the next morning, Kanoha's council gathered in the Hokage's office. The Hokage and his advisors all turned to Danzo Shimura. How do you explain the knowledge of the whole village of Sakumo's mission details? The three was really angry with Danzo. While he trusts that Danzo works for the good of the village, and while he gives him with his root group a lot of independence, it does not mean that he can tolerate harm to the people in the village. In his older days, he became softer and more lenient, but now, he is furious because of what happened to Sakumo, Hiruzen, you're too soft. The ninja is a tool. It's unforgivable to fail because of his own feelings. Let's relax and not lose it now. Isn't Sakumo alive? Why should we get angry? One of the two advisors Koharu Yudatane tried to calm Hiruzen down. I don't think that Danzo-san did anything wrong. Actually, I think Sakumo-san was wrong to give up his mission. Danzo-san has made this matter open to the villagers and they have done nothing wrong. The words of the other advisor, Hamura Mitokado, were in the other direction. Does that mean that he should die? The third was really pissed off by the trio's attitude. You should not misunderstand me, Hiruzen, I think that he should be responsible for his actions, not die. Hamura's words made the three slow down a bit. Knock knock, the knocking door interrupted the conversation. Come in. Sakumo Hataki went in through the door and saluted the council with the due respect. Sakumo. You recovered. Why don't you take more rest, the look on the faces of the Hokage and the rest of the council members was not too good due to their ongoing conversation. Hokage-sama, do not worry. Ryo's medical ninjutsu was really amazing and I have nothing serious. Oh. It's good to get your compliment. That little kid is really good. 
the Hokage was very pleased with the excellent new medical ninja. Hokage-sama, I have something to ask you. L.C. As soon as he woke up last night, Sakumo was told by his wife that an umbu was sent to his place. With his wisdom and experience, Sakumo realized that this might have a relationship with Danzo. Danzo should know that Sakumo's pride would make him unable to accept living with being turned on by everyone including his nakama, and it would drive him to kill himself. With an umbu in his house, his doubts grew larger. If you have anything to say, please say it. Hokage-sama, did you send an umbu to my home yesterday? The Hokage silently glanced at Danzo and said. No, yesterday, none of my umbu were out yesterday. What about Danzo-sama? Yes, I did send one, we were afraid you would hurt yourself because of the situation. Danzo didn't deny it and made it sound like it isn't a big deal. You guys at Root don't understand how things should go. Getting into my house at random, he was killed by me. You insolent Sakumo. How did you dare kill an umbu? Danzo sent people to monitor Sakumo's actions. But he never thought that Sakumo would kill one of them. Root members are Kanoha ninja after all. How about killing him? Now that all the cards are out, Sakumo's attitude towards the three with the Hokage is no longer relevant. Without saying a word, Danzo rushed to Sakumo with a direct punch. At this time, Danzo didn't have the stolen Sharingans, nor did he have Hashirama's cells, but he was still at a level close to that of a Hokage. But he missed. In a flash, the white Fong Sakumo Hataki pulled out his chakra white blade, with an indifferent look in his merciless dead eyes. This was the first time he showed his strength in the village. Besides the three, no one in the office could see the drawing of the swords. It was too fast and any attempt to stop it was too late, Danzo's right hand was chopped right off by Sakumo. His expression didn't change in the slightest after that action. The people around were stunned. The two other council members were by no mean low-level ninja. After all, back when they were younger, they were part of Team Tobarama. And then they had this dignified position of many years. They saw a lot of powerful feats in their life, and they were still shocked by Sakumo's strength. Enough. Sakumo, Danzo. Do you just disregard my presence completely? At one, the Hokage didn't stop them, it was obvious that Danzo wouldn't be able to hurt Sakumo, but what he didn't put in account is that Sakumo would cut Danzo's hand mercilessly. Hokage-sama, you are my Hokage, not them. I am the White Fong of Kanoha, I am willing to tear through all obstacles before them. I can sacrifice on the battlefield, but I do not want to die in my own village. Now if you'd excuse me Sandame. Sakumo turned and left the office. Why didn't you stop him? Koharu, it's not that I didn't stop him, I couldn't stop him. No one can expect such power from him. Even if I interfered I wouldn't be able to change anything. Hearing the words of the three, the advisors stayed silent. Hataki Sakumo, Kanoha's white fong. Danzo picked up his hand and left. Well, this is the end of the matter. You shouldn't offend Sakumo afterwards. I believe he will always be the sharpest knife of Kanoha. Okay, we are gone, Hiru. The two advisors turned away and left side by side. Ah. Danzo is my comrade. In arms. This is all I can do. Sorry, Sakumo. The third sighed and smoked his pipe in front of the window. With all of the events in the Hokage's office unknown to him, Ryo was still lying in the hospital bed of and did not wake up. Yesterday, he saved the life of Sakumo Hataki, who was already dead. The Kanoha hospital saw that the little guy was no small deal. In that evening everyone from the head doctors to the janitors knew about the glorious deeds of Yamanaka Ryo. Outside his room, people were gathering surrounding it. Everyone wanted to see this genius who was only five years old. But he spent a lot of chakra yesterday, and along with situation he was gonna stay asleep for a good while. Chapter 13 Rio's Plans for Thunder Release You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 13 
Ryo's plans for Thunder release it was noon when he woke up and saw her face. Yamanaka Chintz was so happy to see her son open his eyes. Sorry mom, made you worry. Chintz shook her head. The only thing that mattered to her now was that her son was safe. Mom, how long have I been asleep? 28 hours. I'm hungry. Sleeping for 28 hours, Ryo felt that he can eat a cow. Good. I'll go and prepare food for you. Chintz opened the door, and everyone in front of it extended their necks like giraffes and tried to take a glimpse of the genius inside. She closed the door frantically and made her way through the crowds. After a few moments, she brought some porridge and some ramen, the seven Hokage's favorite food. Ryo one drank the porridge which warmed up his stomach. The he took the ramen made by the legendary Tuchi. In the manga, whether it was Orochimaru's attack or even Pain's invasion, nothing stopped the opening of Ichiraka ramen. And a bowl of ramen always returned life to Naruto's eyes whenever he was in a bad mood. Such an amazing ramen shop, with the owner always smiling at the costumers was always a source of happiness here. In fairness, the taste of this ramen was really good. In his past life, Ryo was also a big eater. And in this world he tried a lot of local food, and the ramen definitely was in the top five among them. Knock knock. There were many people outside, but no one dared to knock and disrupt the mother and her son. The one knocking on the door shouldn't be just anyone. Yamanaka Chintz went to open the door, and at the entrance there were three children. Ma'am, we are Ryo's classmates. Yamashiro Sensei asked us to represent the whole class in expressing our condolences to our colleague. My name is Rin Noera. Hi ma'am I'm Uchiha Abito. Hi ma'am, I'm Hitaki Kakashi. Oh. Is it the son of Sakumo and Riko? Chintz was invited to Kakashi's birth celebration, but she hasn't seen him in years. It was a long time to live quietly, and she didn't get to see her friends. Today, she could meet Het good friend's son. She was really surprised. Yes. Kakashi nodded, and Shin smiled and brought the three to the ward. Ma'am, my father and mother told me to thank you. Kakashi said that while respectfully bowing in front of her. It's Ryo that saved your father you don't have to thank me. How's your father now, my father is very good. He taught them a good lesson in the Hokage's office. Kakashi was a genius. At this time, he was only a four-dot-year-old child. He nearly lost his father so he defines those who depressed him as bad people. While Kakashi chatted with Chintz, Abito headed straight towards Ryo's bed. Ryo Yero, you really took the spotlight this time. You saved Sakumo-san's life. Where did you learn medical ninjutsu? My mother taught me. Ryo disregarded Abito's envious eyes, and he answered faintly, I are really good, Yamashiro Sensei compared your medical skills to those of Tsunade Sama. Rin looked at Ryo with worshipping eyes. Kaki Ryo, I will certainly surpass you, along with Kakashi. Abito said that while looking at Rin's eyes with jealousy. Abito, I believe in you. I will always support you. Rin encouraged him as always. Ryo was far from wanting to get involved with the complex relationship between the three people. He just enjoyed watching as a spectator. Chintz and Kakashi talked for a long, and most of it was questions being answered by Kakashi. It has been a long time since Ryo had seen his mother be so happy. Kakashi, what's with my mother? Aunt Chintz asked about my parents. He then nodded and said, Ryo, thank you. Don't mention it. We are friends. Both Ryo and Kakashi are not big talkers. After a few words, they fell into silence. Yes, I will graduate early next year. What? Kakashi Yero, you have to graduate. Indeed, the ninja school is too boring. There is nothing they teach you. Ryo agreed. Hey. You two bastards do not ignore me. They continued to agree with each other, with Abito emitted from the conversation, Rin smiled as she looked at the three. 
I don't plan on graduating for the time being. I have to concentrate on the Thunder Ninjutsu technique, and I have a new idea of a ninjutsu that takes a lot of time. He is not really planning to graduate ahead of time. His dream is not becoming a medical ninja. And he saw enough of the ninja school. He must now concentrate on learning different lightning techniques. His five-year-old body has restricted the growth of his chakra. Now he can only work on efficiently using whatever he has. Looking into the techniques of rakages is his best bet. One of the rakages techniques that are a must-have is the lightning release chakra mode. This technique can focus the thunder chakra on the body surface acting as an armor that can be used for attack. Although it is only a B dot level ninjutsu, it can get stronger with its user. The more thunder chakra, the stronger the defense. It also can stimulate cell activity and the speed and reflexes will be faster and faster. The thunder chakra mode is the foundation of the the strongest thunder technique used by both the the third and fourth rakages. With knowledge of the thunder chakra mode, Ryo only needs to grasp the way to shape transform thunder and then use it. He should also be able to make up his own thunder chakra jutsus. The best ninjutsu for practicing thunder shape transformation is Chidori. In the manga, this was Kakashi's first and for a long time his only original jutsu. He is selecting Chidori for his base training because after learning it, Sasuke invented Chidori Senban. Lightning Needles, Chidori Iso, Chidori Sharp Spear, Chidori Nagashi, Chidori Current, and many more lightning techniques, and also Kakashi made Raikiri, Lightning Hounds, Lightning Clones etc. Again, standing on the shoulders of giants can Ryo can see his path. He prepared to learn Chidori right when he leaves the hospital. Ryo, Ryo, Ryo. The always well-behaving Rin was also stunned with Ryo, looking his way even when he was talking to others, sorry, sorry. We have to go now. Kaki Ryo, just now Rin said we're leaving. Abito said it with a dissatisfied look on his face. Well, Kakashi, Rin, Abito, see you all later. After the farewell, the three kids left. Ryo's body has relatively recovered. Kakashi being ready to graduate in advance puts a lot of pressure on Ryo's back. He shouldn't be wasting time in the hospital. After consulting with with his mother, the hospital released Ryo. The five-year-old began to practice Chidori, taking a key step towards becoming the strongest in the world. Chapter 14 Chidori and Taijutsu You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 14 Chidori and Taijutsu Ryo's talent with lightning release was nowhere close to his talent with water release. If Chidori was a water jutsu he would have mastered it much earlier after training for a dozen days in the forests of Kanoha, he was able to start Chidori. But the duration that he could have maintained it for was nowhere close to Kakashi, he couldn't form it then attack with it. While in the original manga, Chidori was described as a technique developed for assassination, Ryo didn't have that purpose for it. In his vision, the purpose of studying Chidori, Raikiri, Chidori Senban and Chidori Nagachi is to grasp shape transforming thunder release techniques. He couldn't maintain Chidori for enough time for it to be effective. Through experimentation, he found out the problem was chakra related. He has been focusing maintaining the stability of the jutsu but has ignored the chakra input. Indeed, when he made sure his palm was fed with a continuous flow of chakra, the electric current created by his hand became much more stable. As the jutsu came to life it sounded like the singing of a 1,000 birds, getting all the real ones in the forest startled. Ryo activated his Sharingan, and rushed to a distant stone. Ahh, the stone was easily broken. Ryo's attempts to use Chidori finally became successful. In the spirit of being thankful and giving back to the giants he's building his success on, he decided to pass this technique on to its original inventor. Kakashi since you'll be graduating next year, I will give you a graduation gift in advance. What gift? Children love to receive gifts and Kakashi was no exception. Ryo invited him on his own for this. He was full of hope for this gift. 
my own developed a dot grade ninjutsu, chidori. You, develop yourself, an a dot grade jutsu. Kakashi's dead fish eyes got wide open. Ryo felt kinda bad about getting all cheeky with something that is not his own. Kakashi, let's get started. Kakashi's talent in with thunder was far superior to that of Ryo, he learned Chidori in just three days. But his four-year-old body only gave him enough chakra to pull it off just once at a time. In the manga, Kakashi developed the Chidori after graduating. Now he has it as a four-year-old. When he graduates, he should be able to make great things with this technique. Later on, the two went on to discuss the many possible variants of this technique, and Kakashi became more and more impressed with Ryo. He returned home to receive his daily training for his father. Hataki Sakumo was very strict with his son. After the basic practice was completed, they started fight training. The Hataki family's knife methods are not simple basic knife play, but they are close to a body extension technique. Their special taijutsu relies on using lightning release to stimulate the nerves and cell, thus greatly increasing their speed, their inherited short knife is made by chakra.file metal, thus helping them integrating the body and blade into one. As usual, Kakashi wasn't doing much against his father, who was able to hit him easily. Of course, the strike was greatly weakened by Sakumo to an extent that prevents it from inflicting serious damage. But when pushed by the strike, Kakashi didn't rush back towards his father, instead he started forming hand seals. Chidori. Kakashi had his new attack in hand, and rushed towards his father. This jutsu. Sakumo's face that's been calm all along suddenly turned serious, he saw a great potential of penetration and paralysis in the attack, but Kakashi didn't master this technique yet, so his high speed thrust limits his dynamic vision range. Once the opponent makes a move, Kakashi shouldn't be able to follow. Sakumo exploited this weakness to evade to the right and grab his son's right hand. Kakashi, what is this technique? This is a new ninjutsu technique, Chidori, that Ryo developed. He said it was a grade ninjutsu. It is a graduation gift that was given to me in advance. Ryo has developed a level A ninjutsu by himself. And is a grade A technique not that important to him as he gave it as a present. Kakashi, you should not use this technique for the time being. Why? This technique is incomplete technique for you. Just when you were thrusting at a high speed, you couldn't see how I moved in the end. Kakashi looked back on that scene and just nodded. There is a limit to the person's dynamic vision. When you use this technique, your eyes cannot keep up with your speed. You cannot find the enemy's movement. Therefore, this technique should not be used until your problem of dynamic vision is resolved. Kakashi knew that his father was right and nodded in agreement. What about Ryo? Should we tell him to? There is no need, each of you will have his own solutions to his own problems. You continue to practice. Tomorrow bring me Ryo. I have something to say to him. Afterwards, Sakumo returned to the inner room and left Kakashi with a blank face. Dot the next day, after school, Ryo went with Kakashi to his place. They went right into the inner room where Sakumo waited for them, father. Sakumo-san. Kakashi, you must go out first. I have something to say to Ryo. Although Kakashi did not want to, he still had to listen to what his father said, so he went out. Ryo, the last time you saved my life, and this time you are also teaching Kakashi, Chidori. Now, I want to give you something. Here are some of my studies on ninjutsu. I know you are learning about the attributes of lightning releases shape transformations, then you know the principle of these techniques. Ryo shook his head, Sakumo understood. Then he went on to say. The first step of a shape transformation involving jutsu is gathering chakra, and the second step is to give it its attributes through hand seals. You need to provide what you will shape transform later. That's how the different generations of Reikages did it, the Thunder Chakra mode was to them a physical exercise. Sakumo's words made it clear to Ryo that he was going about it the wrong way all along. 
Unlike other jutsu, Thunder Chakra Mode is a close to Taijutsu endurance training. Sakumo gave Ryo the notebook with his research on the matter. He returned home and could not wait to open it. In it, the lightning techniques were described in detail. The Hataki family based their techniques on lighting release, and they developed it well over generations. With Sakumo's notebook, Ryo has a new path to follow when it comes to the development of Chidori and the training of his body. The next day in the Kanoha forest, Ryo started practicing in a new way. Chapter 15 Two years you are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 15 Two years time flew as two years went by. Back in year 39, at only five years of age, Kakashi set a new record when he filed for early graduation and passed with top grades. The other genius in town shined in Kanoha's hospital. Ryo had a unique style of medical ninjutsu, and was an exceptionally good surgeon. And with his superior spiritual strength and deep understanding of the human body, he had a whole year without a single surgery failing. The shinobi treated by him were no less than a hundred. His skill gained him the respect of all of Kanoha's hospital. Dot the teacher that brought up the two geniuses, Yamashiro Yen, was promoted to become deputy director of the Ninja Academy office. In the year 40, Hataki Kakashi, at six years old, became a chunin. In Kanoha's forest, Hataki Sakumo and Ryo practiced. In addition to being in the Kanoha hospital, Ryo spent his remaining time there. In those two years, he finished practicing the Chidori, and his he started using Reikiri skillfully. Ryo has also especially purchased a short knife that can conduct chakra. In terms of Taijutsu, he developed his own lightning chakra mode. Unlike the one used by the Reikichs, he abandoned its defensive aspect and focused on mainly getting speed and attack strength from the mode. The defensive lightning chakra mode requires huge amounts of continuously flowing chakra, which was far from Ryo's reach at that time. He did not have a lot of chakra. As long as he can use his ice element, physical attacks were basically ineffective against him. As long as he had enough chakra, he could get away with low defense. It was through working with Sakumo that he unlocked the lightning chakra mode. Relying on lightning to stimulate his cells and nerves, he got his speed to match the limit of his dynamic vision. Sakumo took his time with the training. Ryo's problems were to be fixed one by one. Sakumo san, I'm going to start. Ah. Let me see how you have improved over the past month, but don't kill me like I did to you last time. Sakumo san, look closely. Ryo infused his chakra within his blade. Is this the Chidori blade? Dot. Sakumo was really interested in this new technique. More than that. Ryo's chakra started floating around his body, and his cells began taking the molecular structure of ice. Non-pure water can conduct electricity, and the human body has that ability. In his past world, ice wasn't as conductive as much as the human bodies. However, once he changed himself into ice, Ryo found that his body became more conductive. The fastest thing in the world is light, and that is an electromagnetic wave, and so is lightning. By using his lightning release while he was in his ice form, the ice and thunder blended giving him light characteristics, and his speed was greatly increased. This mode that Ryo called the ice lightning chakra mode, consumes the most chakra. Right now, Ryo who has the chakra levels of an average jonin, could only maintain this mode for 2 minutes max. The sudden increase in Ryo's speed didn't stun Sakumo at all. Every time they met these past two years, he had a pleasant surprise by the kid. Like a blue thunderbolt, Ryo rushed toward Sakumo who lifted his blade to block his attack. With his attack blocked away, Ryo didn't stop and started printing with one hand. Chidori Blade A one-handed seal For the one time since they started training, Sakumo infused his blade with lightning chakra. That chakra dagger, emitting white light, was like a reaper's scythe. Ryo didn't like the idea of using his Sharingan. But his eyes started glowing red. Genjutsu. Multiple copies. Ryo, you tried this trick half a year ago. 
After that Sakumo appeared right in front of Ryo. Ryo's eyes were able to capture Sakumo's move. But his body couldn't keep up, and the use of Genjutsu and Reikiri also made it impossible for him to maintain ice. Thunder Mode The fight ended with Sakumo's knife an inch away from Ryo's neck. Uncle Sakumo, you are really on another level. The fact that Sakumo isn't even close to using all that he has made it clear for Ryo. He couldn't even inflict damage to him. Faced by such a strong opponent, he knew he had a long way to go. Ryo, you are very strong. At the mere age of seven, you are infusing your blade with chakra, and using one hand seals. You certainly are no ordinary ninja. In fact, Ryo had only two one handed seal justice that he could use Chidori and Reikiri. Uncle Sakumo, am I at the level of beating a Jonin now? There is still a gap between your use of Chidori and Lightning Chakra mode, and that of a Jonin with his own Jutsus. You probably can beat a special Jonin. If you use your Sharingan, you can probably take on a Jonin. Jonins are the backbone of every village. In addition to the four elite of Kanoha, each village has a dozen at the level of Jonin with only 2.4 people close to the level of Akage. Ryo had enough power to protect himself in the next war. In two years, Kakashi will become a jonin. I should also graduate. Now you are the star of Kanoha's hospital. The three won't let you graduate so easily. Ryo also understood that a great medical ninja can save lives, but it didn't seem significant enough for him. Even if so, I would also like to apply for graduation. Ryo did not want to be a medical ninja for his whole life, he wants to be the strongest man in the world. Sakumo-san, I'll go back to ninja school. Good. Sakumo nodded his head. In the past two years he watched him grow up, he was thinking that he should graduate soon as well. Ninja school students who want to graduate early must submit a graduation application through their teacher. If the Hokage approves, they can take the exam. Succeeding allows them to become ninja. The Hokage does not generally refuse any application, unless it is a particularly weak student. And as Ryo always had top scores, the three had no reason to refuse. He went back to school to submit his application, and also to meet up with Abito and Rin. The two along with Kakashi were his only close friends, even though he didn't have beef with anyone else. Finding Yamashiro Yen at the student's affairs office, he submitted his application, and then went to the classroom. As he entered the class he heard a voice. Ryo Yero. You're finally back, on the table, the sleepy Abito was the one to detect his presence. Ryo, you are back. Rin also saw him, and the three went to the playground together. Abito, Rin. I want to apply for graduation. Kaki Ryo, I will soon catch up with you. Then you have work hard. Rin, you too. I will. After saying goodbye to his friends, he left the school to become a ninja tomorrow. Chapter 16 Yamanaka Ryo the Genin You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 16 Yamanaka Ryo the Genin There was a graduation application on the Hokage's desk. He was smoking his pipe in front of the window when he asked Yamashiro Yen. Yen, do you think that Ryo can successfully graduate? Hokage-sama, if it is an ordinary exam, he will definitely be able to pass. His reply is not unexpected, as Ryo was already at that level two years ago. The Hokage did not want Ryo to graduate early. As Ryo and Sakumo expected, he didn't want him to leave the hospital, as nobody in that hospital was remotely comparable to him. After thinking about it for a while, the Hokage decided that it's better for Ryo and the village that he stays at school for a little more time. He didn't reject the application that's been delivered by Yen, but he decided that tomorrow's test will have a lesson for him about always being able to learn more, a lesson that will be harsh enough that it will push him away from early graduation. That way, he can take his time and work in the hospital. Yen, I agree. You go to inform Ryo-kun to come at 9 a.m. tomorrow, at the third training ground. 
Yes, Hokage-sama. Yen informed Ryo about the examination time. It's really exciting. It was clear to him that it won't be an easy graduation, but he had enough confidence to have no doubts about success. The next day, 9 a.m., at the three training ground, Ryo was right on time. Ryo Kuen, you made this old man wait for you, not too kind of you. Hokage-sama, it's 9 a.m. still, you were just too early. Ha ha ha, you look very confident. Of course, if I wasn't sure of success, I wouldn't have applied. Ryo was standing straight. That's good. So today's challenge is not that hard. This shinobi, don't get defeated by him for 10 minutes, and you'll become a ninja, the three once again redefined the meaning of shameless. One is a student from the ninja school and the other is an Uchiha. One of his tribe's chunins. The fact that he is a chunin is enough to make many people escape, without mentioning the usual difference between Yamanakas and Uchihas. Hokage-sama, this is. Bad. Yamashiro Yen didn't want to see his student suffer. It's all right, Yamashiro-sensei. Ryo comforted his teacher. See. He's not objecting. No need to complain Yen. Hokage-sama, let's get this started. Ryo has waited for so long to see the pure blood Sharingan in action. The untouched confidence portrayed by Ryo made the three feel uneasy. He took a look at Ryo who was so eager to fight on one side, and at the Uchiha who had enough strength to be amongst the elite. He took a breath and announced. The exam starts. The Uchiha Chunin, who looked like he's in his twenties looked down on Ryo and said. Kuzo, being a ninja is no child's play. You should just forfeit now or you'll get hurt. I advise you to use your Sharingan from the get-go, or you will get overwhelmed by my speed, I can't promise that you won't get hurt. Kuzo. You're looking for death. The Uchiha was so angered that he started forming seals right away. Katan. Fireball Jutsu. Although he had no fire affinity, nor did he fight anyone who used it, Ryo couldn't even count the times that he saw that seal in the anime. By the time that his opponent launched his attack, he already was one step ahead lunching, water release. Raging Waves. The fireball launched by the Uchiha was easily extinguished. How? The Chunin was stunned. Ryo is much faster than him at forming seals, and he formed them at the speed of four seals per second. Ryo started forming them after him and launched his attack earlier. He must be doing it at five seals per second or more. This shinobi, well worthy of being a chunin, found out that this kid was faster than him when it came to forming seals. So he stopped using ninjutsu and started relying on taijutsu to fight the kid. No Sharingan yet. You have no chance against me if don't use it. After just a few strikes, he was being overwhelmed by Ryo's taijutsu. And time went on, with him barely managing to hold his own. More than half the period has passed. He knew that Ryo was right, he will fail without the Sharingan. Full of anger, he opened his Sharingan. But the power dot up wasn't enough. Ryo was somewhat disappointed with him. Losing interest in the fight, Ryo unleashed his Thunder Chakra mode. This is the Thunder Chakra mode. The three has been always impressed with Ryo, but he never expected such a level from along with his medical ninja. Ryo's Thunder technique was on a really high level. Hey Uchiha Shinobi, this is the end, as he said it, a thunderbolt appeared behind the poor Chunin, and while he could capture the shadow of Ryo's movement with his Sharingan, his physique couldn't keep up. In no time he had a kanai on his neck. I lost. Uchiha happily admitted his full defeat. Hokage-sama, can I graduate now? Oh. Ryo you, this fight you showed me was a very pleasant surprise. You pass your exam. From now on are a fully-fledged Konoha shinobi. Under the Hokage's eyes, Ryo showed more than enough strength to prove he could defend himself. He went to the photo studio to take a picture, filled out a ninja form, officially becoming a Kanoha genin. 
The next days, he didn't get an instructing teacher, and he wasn't given any missions. He spent all his time between the hospital and the forest. A month later, not being called by the Hokage proved to be unbearable. Hokage-sama, why don't I have a tutor or a mission? Eh, about that Ryo. As of right now, Kanoha's team is full, there is no suitable team to arrange for you, or do you wait for some time? I'll think about it, how to arrange something for you. How can the Hokage not know how unbearable the feeling that Ryo has about his cheeky acts right now? Then Hokage-sama, I'll wait at home for you to find something, as I've spent a lot of time in the hospi. Ryo, I suddenly remembered. There is another jonin with no disciple. Ryo's threat was so effective that it pushed the memories right back to the three s mind. Hokage-sama, you can't just flick me away. How could there be another jonin left? With the assurance of the three he could only leave keeping his doubts. Could there be another jonin he missed? He though this over. The man to be the four Hokage, Minato Namikaze is on the borders. Sakumo took a mission and is about to leave. Amongst the jonin of Kanoha, he couldn't find anyone with no current team who could fit the description. Ryo shook his head as he knew the three hasn't been exactly reliable. He had no confidence in meeting his instructor tomorrow. Chapter 17 Sensei you are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 17 Sensei Ryo had no high hopes in the instructor that's about to be brought in by the third. The next day, he felt no need to hurry and dragged his feet towards the Hokage's office a bit after 10 a.m. He greeted the ninja on guard duty downstairs and then climbed up. At the door, as he was preparing to knock, he heard a crackling sound. Is someone trying to assassinate that old man Hiruzen? He activated his thunder chakra mode, grabbed his dagger and activated Chidori blade and slowly opened the door. Fully ignited, he found himself in the middle of a confrontation. Hokage-sama, is everything all right? Ryo, never be late again. This is your new sensei. She got impatient waiting for you, and thought I was messing with her, nearly destroying my whole office. Hearing the words of the third, fear crossed Ryo's face for the first time in a good while. He looked at the great third Hokage, the great ninja, the man who faced hell in war, and how he was looking all afraid. What kind of trouble would make him look like that? Hey, you. Are you my disciple? The woman's voice was crisp and nice to hear, but her tone was very unpleasant. Her words interrupted his thoughts about the Hokage. He turned to see his new tutor. What? Seeing the beautiful red head, he could only exclaim as he saw her Uzumaki characterizing crimson hair. The Uzumaki was Kushina. Naruto's mother, and the fourth Hokage Minato Namikaze's wife. The Uzumakis are a clan that is exceptionally skilled with sealing, and Kanoha's Kyubi Jinchurikis have historically been selected from them. In the anime, Kushina Uzumaki had a really hot temper. She did beat up whoever tried to mock or bully her earning herself the title of the Red Hot Habanero, a type of hot red pepper. Due to the loosening of her QB seal right after she gave birth to Naruto, Kurama was released by Abito. She didn't die immediately due to her high vitality. But when sealing Kurama into Naruto, she ended up dying along with Minato. When watching the anime, Ryo was crying his eyes out during these scenes. In particular, Kushina's sacrifice for her son and all of the maternal love affected Ryo so much, he was man who never felt the love of his original parents. In this world, he found all the love he needed from his loved mother Chintz, but once again, it's exciting to see his old crush. As Ryo was recalling his past life, Kushina was also looking at her disciple. She has already heard of Ryo Yamanaka. The youngest medical ninja in Kanoha who already has medical skill comparable to that of Tsunade. This matter has been recognized by everyone in Kanoha's hospital. Even though this child was a Yamanaka, he had the black hair of an Uchiha. While not as stunning, it was very beautiful anyway. The thunder chakra mode he had on was also impressive to her. 
She was the town's jinchuriki and rarely had chances to leave the village. But she was a jounin after all, she did know what it was. When Ryo saw her, surprise didn't leave his eyes. Kushina had the ability to perceive good and evil after becoming a jinchuriki. She felt that Ryo had nothing but good feelings towards her, and a good bit of reliance on her. After she came to Kanoha, only the late Mito Uzumaki, Hiruzen Sarutobi, and Minato Namikaze warmed up to her, translator note. Where is Jiraiya-sama, while the rest didn't really feel much sympathy for her village. Many people laughed at her red hair, though she did usually shut them up with her fist. Ryo affection made her very happy. She was really satisfied with him becoming her disciple. Stinky old man, I'll take this disciple. When he heard Kushina say that, the third breathed a sigh of relief. It was great that he didn't have to convince her. The QB power is too overwhelming for everyone, and her boyfriend is guarding Kanoha's borders. He was unable to impose anything upon her. Ryo indeed needed a tutor. Sakumo was the best candidate, and the third also knew that for the past two years, he was already teaching Ryo. But recently, the sand were on the move. With Tsunade out of Kanoha and Orochimaru in the water country, not returning for three years, the third had only Sakumo to send as only him was strong enough and available. Yamanaka Ryo, let's go. Come with me and don't care about this old man. That's how she always did things, the third was helpless. Then Hokage-sama, if you'd excuse me. Going downstairs, Kushina said that Ryo should demonstrate his strength, and he could only promise to do that if the walk to the third training ground. First I'll introduce myself, my name is Uzumaki Kushina, a Kanoha Jonin. I like ramen, I hate quite a few things, and my goal is to become the Hokage. My name is Ryo, a Kanoha Jenin. I like studying ninjutsu. My goal is to become the strongest ninja. What do you hate? Her question reminded him only of the cheeky old man's attempts to keep him in the hospital. Thanks to Kushina, a great start for Ryo is found. The Hokage didn't want him to leave the village. And since Kushina is a Jinchuriki, essentially never leaving town, he was able to make sure that Ryo stays, as he should stay with his tutor. I don't hate anything. Wow that was really boring. Well, come on let me see your strength, I'll do my best to fight you. Beware, I'm very strong. Ryo nodded and activated his thunder chakra mode, then pulled out his short knife to use Chidori blade. In his thunder chakra mode, he immediately popped up in front of her, attacking her with his short knife. Good speed. Kushina dodged Ryo's attack easily but she couldn't evade his Chidori he launched immediately with a one-handed seal. Bed o m, I haven't seen this technique before. Your own, she was surprised, her left hand wrapped in red chakra barely caught the Chidori. The QB power is indeed immense, Ryo didn't expect that his Chidori would be blocked this way. Kushina at that time was already able of controlling the Kyubi chakra. Her pupils gradually became red and a red tail appeared behind her. Ryo, now I'm going to be attacking. You'd better use all you have or you are going to die. She was not kidding. Her strength and speed should be increased exponentially. In the anime, when Naruto fought Sasuke using that mode in the Valley of the End, even the two-dotted Sharingan wasn't able to capture his movements. Ryo was also caught in a similar situation, but this is even worse. Kushina is a Jounin. And her control of the Kyubi's chakra is much better. Ryo didn't see himself winning this fight. Chapter 18 Ryo vs. Kushina You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 18 Ryo vs. Kushina Ryo Yamanaka, is this all you have? The storm of Kushina's attacks was immensely overwhelming Ryo. Both speed and power given to her by the one-tail cloak mode were wilder than anything he ever imagined from her. The thunder chakra mode and chakra blade were barely enough for defense. Well, since I'm in this state, I guess there's no need to be so nice with my sensei. 
Ryo said that as he spreading chakra through his body, transitioning to the lightning, ice chakra mode. Since his eyes couldn't keep up with QB mode speed, he just closed them. The lightning, ice chakra mode speed and reflexes were all increased by a large margin. He became able to perceive Kushina's location with his immense Yamanaka spiritual power. The lightning, ice chakra mode was enough to keep up with the barrage of attacks delivered by Kushina in the single tail cloak mode. But Ryo knew he still had no chance to win. Ryo's limit was his lack of enough chakra to maintain this mode. He only had enough for two more minutes, while Kushina who already had superior levels of chakra, being an Uzumaki, had the infinite chakra from the Kyubi. Winning requires ending this fight within two minutes, and Ryo couldn't see how that would ever be possible. But Kushina didn't like Ryo's satisfaction when he kept up with her speed. A seven-year-old not only having this amount of strength, but also developing his own S-rank ninjutsu. His talent is comparable to that of her boyfriend Minato. Ryo perceived the movement of her cloak while closing his eyes. The amount of chakra was so massive, it shone like a bright lamp in the dark. Suddenly, she picked up speed, to an extent where normal people would only see a blood.red figure flickering in front of them if they looked with their bare eyes. She aimed at attacking him from behind, in her attempts to find out where his limits were. Water release. Wild water wave. Ryo opened his eyes and aimed away from Kushina releasing this C-class jutsu. Yet she continued her attack on Ryo without giving it any thought. Freeze. The water waves were frozen, and Kushina's fist went right to Ryo's back. At that exact moment, he disappeared. BL.net, a space, time ninjutsu. Being Minato's girlfriend, she was familiar with the flying thunder god Justu that he uses. And this technique used by Ryo just now was weirdly similar to that. Chidori. On the ice behind Kushina, Ryo quickly formed his seals. And with whatever chakra he had left, he released Chidori, losing his lightning chakra mode simultaneously. Less than a meter away from Kushina, it was a direct hit. Ah! The Chidori pierced through Kushina and she blew up into white smoke. A shadow clone. When did you? You made it easy, when you opened your eyes to use your water waves. You can only rely on perception to determine my position. Opening up your eyes and thinking about the final blow. I would never let you get away with it. You're really strong Kushina sensei. Ryo was panting when he said that to Kushina. You're not bad as well. You're far beyond the level of an average chunin. That last one was a time.space ninjutsu. Ryo shook his head and explained. No. That was the special ability that I discovered when I was a child. I could teleport within the ice I make with my chakra. Ice and the Sharingan are Ryo's most important trump cards. They are a secret only known by a select few. His possession of the Sharingan is only known about by Yamanaka Chins, Yamanaka Inoichi, and Hitaki Sakumo, with the last one being the only person to know about his ice affinity. The reason why Ryo revealed the secret of his ice release was because on one hand, she overwhelmed him and he felt the need to use it, and on the other, she was his instructor. He knew from the anime that the relationship between instructors and their disciples was always strong, and that having to go on missions with her will make him eventually get their bond strong and reveal all secrets anyway. So he decided to take the initiative and break the ice by being totally honest. Is it some kind of a bloodline limit technique? Ryo shook his head and said he didn't know. By character, Kushina was more of simple-minded person, who would just throw aside problems they couldn't solve. So she went on to ask. So, Ryo. I can call Ryo, no. Of course you can, Kushina sensei. Let's drop the sensei part, call me Kushina Wanchan. She was delighted by his answer, so she spoke without thinking. Kushina Wanchan. Ryo would never refuse such a relationship with her. He went with what she said immediately, Ryo, so you developed your own jutsu. Yes, an A-class jutsu. He wasn't hiding anything, wow, 
you are a genius. Being seven years old, you can develop ninjutsu by yourself. Chidori, is just a basic ninjutsu. Injecting chakras into a short knife can increase the sharpness of the short knife. That's how to make Chidori blade. By focusing the chakra and lightning we get Raikiri, an S-class jutsu. Ryo introduced Chidori and its variants to Kushina. He was surprised by her astonishment. Her style of fighting was a simple and ruthless, relying mainly on speed, taijutsu, and massive amounts of chakra. She has never learned such fine ninjutsu techniques like Chidori. Ryo, are you better in medical ninjutsu? Kushina's knowledge of medical ninjutsu is very minimal. If he was more interested in that he wouldn't have anything to learn from her. No, I'm more interested in ninjutsu and taijutsu. I'm working on my thunder chakra mode and chidori variants. Hearing that, Kushina was relieved. Although she wasn't as skillful with ninjutsu, this gives her the chance to train with him more. Ryo, should we take a walk? He nodded and the two talked for half an hour and Ryo recovered his chakra and physical strength. Well, Nekan, I'll invite you on a good bowl of ramen. Kushina had a weakness for ramen and ate a bowl every day. And Ryo liked the taste of it also after trying it in the hospital. So in his free time he often went to Ichiraku to grab a bowl for himself. Boss. A large portion of pork bone ramen. And I want a large portion of seafood ramen. Oh. Kushina and Ryo coming together. Both of them are regular customers, so boss Tuchi knew them well. Yes. Ryo is my new disciple. Is that so? Congratulations Kushina, you've taken such a good apprentice. Today's ramen is on the house. Thank you boss. Kushina was even happier. After eating ramen, Kushina sent Ryo back home after agreeing on meeting the next day in the three training ground. After greeting her and returning home, Ryo lied in his bed recalling their fight this battle was the most enjoyable one he had since he crossed over. His fights with Sakumo usually were finished really fast due to the great gap in skill and strength. And fighting a Jounin who is also a Jinchuriki is a great way for him to train enough to survive the upcoming war, even though he'll probably keep on losing to her. And also having Kushina Uzumaki, of all people, as his teacher wasn't half bad either. Chapter 19 A Power That Can Rule the World You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 19 A Power That Can Rule the World The Next Day, On the Third Training Ground, Ryo Took the Initiative and Challenged Kushina to a Fight. Now that she knows about his techniques, Ryo wasn't able to last for more than one minute. After that, morning exercise, was finished, Ryo and Kushina complained to each other about the three and Minato. Being able to sense good and evil, Kushina felt nothing but good intent from Ryo. So she had her guard down talking to him. Most Kanoha shinobis weren't really close to Kushina. The red-hot habanero didn't have many friends to talk with. Ryo's introduction into her life gave her someone to open up to. Although they've known each other for no more than one day, Ryo gained Kushina's trust. That grumpy old Kage won't let me go out on a mission. What's wrong with Kyuubi's chakra in battle? I master it well. Kushina just leaked out something that should have been kept a secret. Even though she is as careless as they come, even she knows that this is something to hide. Ryo is one of her few friends. Most people with good intent would avoid her being scared by the Kyuubi's power. Well Kushina Wanchan, shouldn't the fact that you're the nine-dot-tailed Jinchuriki be kept a secret? Ryo's answer made her breathe a sigh of relief. She didn't sense any change in his emotions towards her. She immediately came down to Ryo and patted on his shoulder. I don't worry about telling you such things. I know you'll keep it secret. Hearing her words, Ryo was stunned that he gained so much trust in just one day. Are you not surprised by knowing this? I noticed your tale since yesterday. I read about it in a book in the library. It's a sign that shows you have that power, the power of the biju isn't it? Kanoha's library does actually have such a book. 
he stumbled upon it accidentally while studying two years ago. So. Aren't you afraid? Kushina's voice became faint as she said that, and she couldn't look him in the eyes. Of course I'm not afraid. A Jinchuriki is still human. And the Biju aren't that bad actually. I heard Uncle Sakumo say that the Hachibi is good friends with his Jinchuriki in the Cloud Village. Wonchan aren't you friends with the Kyubi? Ryo knew the truth about Kurama. To him he was just a big prideful fox who, if understood, can be nothing to be afraid of. Hearing Ryo's word made Kushina silent for a good while. She doesn't hate Kurama and actually often talks to him, even though he never answers. Kurama is one of the few creatures she could talk to actually. Although he never answers her, she almost sees him as a friend. She doesn't know anything about his thoughts, but when in need, he always lends her chakra. Ryo's word made Kushina consider the possibility of humans and Biju company existing in peace. Well, do you think that we can become able to live with Biju in peace one day? That day will definitely come. Ryo didn't just predict that, he saw that day. He continued to say. How much power can you get off the Kyubi Wanchan? Three tails safely. I begin to lose consciousness when going for the four, well Kushina Wanchan, can you show me that power? Yeah. Saying that, Kushina's body began to ooze with chakra. One tail, two, three tails. They were waving behind her red chakra dot coated body. Seeing such a power manifesto made Ryo sweat. Naruto had half of Kuruma's power, and his four tail state was enough to almost kill Jiraiya. With a full QB sealed inside, Kushina's three tails should be comparable to Naruto's four. Hey, Nekan, can you run your fastest towards the gate? She nodded, and Ryo activated his Sharingan and stared at her. Despite that, he was far from being able to capture her position. Wow. And this is only the three-tail mode. The anime described the Kyubi as beast powerful enough to rule the whole world. Now that Ryo saw this with his own eyes, any doubts he had about about before were gone. This made him speechless. In the manga, both Madara and Abito were able to control this beast. The thought of such a powerful creature being possible used by an enemy put a lot of pressure on Ryo. Ryo, aren't you a Yamanaka? How come you have the Sharingan? After deactivating the Chakra Cloak mode, Kushina noticed Ryo's eyes. My father is an Uchiha. Don't tell anyone one Kushina one Chan. No wonder your hair is black. So that's why. Rest assured, my mouth is sealed shut. Who did just expose that she was a Jinchuriki? Looking at her carelessness, Ryo thought that he might have just made a mistake. In the next few days, Ryo kept training with Kushina and noticed that he started to last a bit longer in front of her. Feeling some improvement alleviated a lot of the pressure he felt. Now is the year 40, 22 years away from the Four World War. 22 years are plenty for Ryo to get much stronger. In the past few days, Ryo found out during practice that Kushina's fighting style was too simple. She doesn't really use much ninjutsu or any genjutsu, relying mainly on shadow clones and taijutsu in fights. She has a ton of chakra, so Ryo thought he should help her change up her fighting style so that her huge amounts of chakra don't go to waste. Hey Kushina Wanchan, how many shadow clones can you make? I don't know, let me try. She formed the seal of Kage Bunshin no Jutsu. A few seconds later, the whole third training yard was full of shadow clones. Wow, how much are those? How much? These are a 1000 clones, I can do more. A 1000. At this moment, Ryo really wanted to be an Uzumaki. With so much chakra, he could turn the whole battlefield into ice, and no one will even touch him. Ryo was salivating and looking at Kachina's Uzumaki red hair. While he was staring she slapped his back. Hey hey Nekin what was that for? Ryo's daydream was interrupted by Kushina's uncomfortable glare. I've been asking you about what made you ask me to do this. 
Oh yeah, I was thinking of a jutsu, one especially suitable for you. His wicked smile made Kushina shudder. When telling her about the details of the jutsu, she was laughing. Her evil laugh made him shudder as well. Chapter 20 A Power That Can Rule the World You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 20 Reunion with Kakashi The third training field being filled with shadow clones didn't get the three Hokage to even flinch. He's surrounded by 500 of them today, as he was asked by Kushina to help her. The three was actually one of the closest people to Kushina. As soon as he heard about her developing a new jutsu, he was really interested and wanted to see what it was all about. He came here spare with her. So Kushina, your new technique is just a shadow clone gimmick. Of course not. Are you ready old man? Since she wasn't using the QB cloak mode, she was at best at the level of a regular jonin, thus posing no threat to Hiruzen. Shihohapo Shuriken Kushina threw shurikens at the three from all directions. In face of reigning death he had to face, he formed the seals of Earth Release Mud Wall, and surrounded himself by four walls. Old man, you're falling for it. She launched a kubi, chakra infused shuriken. And the walls around him crumbled like biscuits. The three was once again exposed to the shurikens. Water release. Water walls, water release. Water waves. He released a massive amount of water that diverted most of the shurikens. But still, many of them went through and hit him. Kushina didn't use a lot of strength sending the shuriken, so they don't hurt Hiruzen if they land on him. That's why his water wall easily scattered the waves of shuriken. Looking at the three in his now ragged clothes, Kushina said. So old man, how's my technique? Well Kushina, you'll have a hard time facing the stronger shinobi out there with it, especially the mist ninja. And if those mud walls were made by the Kazakage, I don't think your shuriken would go though them. And what if all of those shuriken had Kyubi chakra in them? The three saw the power of that shuriken, so it was really clear to him. If he was showered by such a wave of Kyubi chakra shuriken, he would have been screwed. Are you telling me that you can make so many clones and use the Kyubi's chakra with all of them? His question hit the nail on its head. That was what Ryo's idea was about. Kushina was able to make up to 200 Kyubi chakra using clones. Ryo estimates that that number can go up to 500. In the anime, just with half of the Kyubi's chakra, Naruto shielded 9,000 ninja. If Kushina just reaches the four tail state while keeping it under control, she should have no problem making 500 clones that have the Kyubi's chakra. In her four tails mode, Kushina should actually be on par with Sakumo in power, but still, it should be difficult for her to beat him. She would have an edge on him though. When at that state, she could just over flood him with shadow clones. He would beat them as they are weaker than her at full power, but he will eventually run out of chakra, while she should have a practically infinite supply. He didn't fully understand why, but Ryo noticed that Kushina was never influenced by the Kyubi's temper and hatred when using his chakra. When he asked her about it, she said she could only feel it when using more than three tails. Ryo supposed that her being a pure blood Uzumaki played a role in that. This is a good thing though, as they didn't need to worry about the Kyubi taking control. Ryo spent the next few days in the hospital. A group of ninja returning from the land of Earth needed treatment, so Ryo was really needed. Being away from Ryo made Kushina feel bored. She went to the Hokage's office and complained. I haven't been out of the village on a mission for a long time. Are there no suitable missions? The three knew what she wanted. Without lifting his head he answered her. No there isn't, then give me back my disciple. Kushina, our ninja have just returned from the land of earth with so many of them injured. They are all heroes that we must do all we can to save. Now there are so few medical ninjas. The hospital staff can't handle this all alone. I don't care. If you don't give me a mission out of Kanoha, then you must give me back my disciple. Such scenes are familiar to the Hokage. 
Kushina has always been this way. She is stubborn, but the three was relentless. In the end, as usual, she only could leave the office furious. Kanoha's hospital really needed Ryo's presence, everyone worked 24-7 trying to save the injured ninja. A few days later, they were essentially through with treating all the wounded. Ryo and the rest of the staff were completely exhausted. In his office, the three was feeling really grateful that he kept Ryo in the village. Many of the injured ninjas survived what would have been otherwise certain death. Tell Ryo Yamanaka that his job in the hospital is over, and that he must rejoin Kushina. Yes, Hokage-sama. The umbu went immediately and notified Ryo. The next day, Ryo went early to the three training field. To his surprise, there was another one with Kushina. One with a black mask, silver hair, and pale eyes. Oh. Isn't that the famous genius Kakashi Hitaki? Isn't that the brat Ryo Yamanaka? After a long time of not meeting, they said such laughable things. Kakashi still saw him as his rival. Hey I see you still have your old grudge. Wanna fight? Sure do. Ryo wanted to see what level Kakashi reached in the past two years. After all, he learned how to use Chidori earlier than when he learned it in the mange. Ryo expected great things from him. He activated his lightning chakra mode, pulled out his dagger and activated the Chidori blade. With the aura of lightning surrounding him, and that dagger in his hand surrounded by a Chidori, he really looked like he was ready to fight. So this is the lightning chakra mode my father said is really strong. I don't think you're strong enough to find out just how strong this mode is. Kakashi did not expect Ryo to be that fast, as he popped up right in front of him. Earth release. Mud wall, Kakashi's wall took Ryo's attack. He moved away, and as Ryo was too fast, he needed to limit his movement. Earth release. Dark swamp, water release. Water waves, Kakashi used ninjutsu to form quicksand around him. Trying to restrict my movement. Indeed, Kakashi couldn't keep up with such speed. So with this, he should be able to get Ryo's speed advantage out of the equation.